guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be reviewing and doing a demo on this palette that I showed you guys on my snapchat and it's the new Sephora Pro palette I did see it on trend mood they posted it a few weeks back and then they posted it again about three days ago um, so I got my palette in store in Sephora when I checked online they did not have the palette which was really weird to me because usually they have it online first um, but I did find mine in Sephora when I saw this palette I had to had to have this palette especially if you are a makeup artist I think this is something that's so essential to have because you have a variety of shades also there's a variety of finishes in here there's chrome there's satin there's matte there's shimmer so you do get a variety of shades in this palette the palette has 28 shades and I will be swatching all 28 for you guys and then I will be doing this look for you guys as well so you guys can see basically how the shadows perform experience any of the shadows chalky um, the only one that I felt like was a little bit harder to work with was this shade right here this yellow shade right here and the reason probably why is because a lot of yellow shades are kind of hard to work with whatever um, ingredients they put in those shades sometimes they're a little bit difficult to work with but it did work all in all I just want to show you how the palette came so it's in this box here and it's in gold letters it says Sephora Pro it has the gold on top of the palette as well and along the side I want to read to you what it means to be a Sephora Pro and why the palette costs what it costs. So it says here 15 top makeup artists handpicked their superior skill and ability to inspire through education. In partnership with the Sephora Pro team, Sephora has developed these exclusive pro pigment palettes featuring 28 high pigment, high performance shades in chrome, matte, shimmer, and satin finishes. Like a makeup artist kit, these palettes incorporate a range of expertly selected finishes and shades to achieve any look imaginable. They do have another palette and that is the cool tones palette I will insert a picture somewhere around here so you guys could see that one but I got the warm tone obviously because I love warm shades and this palette was definitely right up my alley um, now just going right into the palette itself I will say it is very heavy and it says Sephora Pro right here and then you open it up Ooh, there goes the card then you open it up and it has a huge mirror right here you guys can see everything there but it has a huge mirror and it has all these 28 shades in here including a matte black which I was very happy because a lot of palettes don't include that um, and a matte black is essential for somebody who is a makeup artist these are such a great range of shadows in here um, and then I also want to show you guys that the names of the shadows do not come on the palette but they do come on on one of these little sheets here so you do have one of these sheets here and I leave mines inside the palette just because I want to make sure I know exactly what shadows I'm using that way when I'm doing tutorials for you guys that I can tell you exactly what shadows that I'm using to say the packaging on the palette is really good it's really sturdy it's made very sturdy as you guys can see it's really like a hard packaging the palette does retail for $68 and I know that's a lot of money for a lot of you it definitely was a lot for me um, normally I like to pay the most probably $50 for a shadow but honestly I feel like this is worth the price like if you think about it the packaging is worth it the shadows are worth it you're getting 28 shadows on top of that a huge mirror a great palette travel friendly um, this is a makeup artist dream right here this palette and um, yeah so I feel like you really do get your money's worth with this um, so now getting right into the swatches I will be swatching all 28 of these on my arm and then I am going Going to be showing you guys how I did this eye look with this palette guys if you want to see the swatches and the eye look just keep watching okay guys so this is the palette up close and as you guys can see I've already used it um, about two or three times already um, but I will say when I was swatching this on my arm I noticed there was about maybe two shadows that I wasn't really really crazy about but you guys will see that in my swatches coming next also guys I do want to just let you know I am going to be swatching it from top to bottom so it's going to be the first row the second the third and the fourth so let's get right Right into those swatches okay guys so the first one is canvas oat biscotti camel ochre saddle and auburn and this was from the first row 
The second row is sand, brass, clay, copper, bronze, adobe, and sandstone. So I have to say that row was definitely my favorite. So then going on to the next one, it's going to be hazelnut, khaki, peach, which peach I was really disappointed in, guys. I really didn't like this and it didn't give me too much pigment. The next one is going to be brick, which is a gorgeous color. I love this. Terracotta. Burnt umber. And the last one is chestnut. So the last row is going to be brown sugar, which I did not care for either. Um, as you guys can see, the swatch was really off. Um, then caramel. Sepia. This next one was beautiful, and this one is coconut shell, cocoa, cedar. So the last shade is obsidian, and that's the black one, and it's a really nice black shade. Okay guys, so I brought you in a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing, and I have the palette right here. We'll be reading off the names as I use them, so I have this right here. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is going to be hazelnut. So I'm using the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush E40, and I'm just going to put that right into my crease. So now just taking caramel from the palette, I'm just gonna continue popping that color right into the crease. So I'm just going to take terracotta, continue using the Sigma E40 brush, and I'm just going to put that in my crease as well. Just to darken up the crease a little bit more, I'm going to go in with Burnt Lambert, and I took a different brush. This is um, a... What is this from? This is from an Urban Decay Vice palette, but I like this brush here to get right into the crease because it's kind of really dense and I don't want it to go below the crease color. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer to carve out my crease and I'm gonna be using the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer. This one is in number one, it's a little lighter so that's why I'm putting it on my lid. And I'm gonna take this It Cosmetics brush because I like that it's a really small flat shader brush so it's gonna get really nicely into there so I can cut the crease. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit on that brush and then just start working it in. So I'm going to take the shade Canvas from the palette and I'm just going to pat that right onto the lid. Go in with Okra, that's the yellow shadow and I don't think I'm going to wet my brush first. I think I'm just going to go in like that. Listen, balls to the wall, right? So that's what we can. Going back in with canvas, I'm just going to hit my brow bone. I'm just going in with my wing liner. I'm using the TARDIS clay paint liner. I'm almost out of this one. And I am taking my MAC 210 brush just because I want it to be really precise. So I want to go in with something like this. I'm just going to go 
go in with this Reblon Photo Ready Eye Art. This one is in, which one is this one in? This one is in Topaz Twinkle, one of my favorite shades. Um, you can find this at the drugstore, guys. And I'm just going to go in and put this right on that crease there. Okay, so I threw on my lashes and I just want to go in and just smoke out my bottom lash. Basically just using these same shadows. Taking a little bit of my Estee Lauder heat wave, I'm just gonna hit my inner corners. So guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really put a lot of hard work into this video with, as far as like swatching. I swatched all 28 on the arm as you guys saw. I do feel like $68 is a lot of money. If you're purchasing something that is that amount of money, I want you guys to really get your money's worth. So I wanted to do like a full thorough review for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.